Welcome back to the Copart Golf Project. This episode, we're going to get all these panels in paint. Now if you missed the first episode where we prepped them, we'll leave a link in the description so you can go check that out after this video. And we'll start by getting this door wet sanded. That's all the repairs done and all the primer work's done. It's all been flattened and it's all ready to base coat now. The last step we're going to do, before I touch it with base coat, is we're going to tack cloth it. Um, and what you're looking for is a nice glide on your tack coat. If it glides nicely and it doesn't hook up on anything, you know your paint works smooth and it's good for base coat. Every time, without fail, you start painting, a bloody bug flies in and lands on your paint. himself together let's see how Spongebob's party is shaping up so last night we threw the door on but it was too dark to film so this morning we're going to start by getting this bonnet on and then we can finish the bumpers and get them in paint That's the base coat flashed off, it's time to lacquer it now, so we'll go for one light coat of lacquer, let that flash a little bit, and then we'll go for one finishing coat of lacquer. So another day has passed, these bumpers have had enough time to dry, so it's time to get the trims back on and get them thrown back on the car. And that's when the bad weather hit. Unfortunately it's too cold, frosty and covered in snow, we can't do anything with the car. We're going to have to leave it a couple of days for the cold front to pass. What we're going to do in the next video is completely finish the car. We're also going to show you exactly how cheap we got it. And we're going to show you the potential profit margin that's in the car. We'll go through all the numbers, all the details. Make sure you hit the like button, drop us a comment, you know what to do. We'll see you next time.